Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy. We're continuing our series with the Kerbal Space Program. And since last time I have gone ahead and taken all of these focused observational surveys. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. over four years to complete them. And also that we need to test the, um, the small jet engine. So my plan was to build a very basic uh, plane and at least use that for testing and if we can get to the correct altitude um, we might be able to do some of these other missions. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and build the simplest of aircrafts. Uh, tail. Come on. Oh, there you go. And some wings, 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 wings. wings. Like that. And there we go. And the tail fit. Not too bad. And some control surfaces. Like that. And here's the, the trick. Do we do this mission where we have to, the contract we have to test the engine? We have to test it um, while in flight. That means we have to actually activate the engine while in flight. So we will need engines to actually get us um, to get us going. And once we got that, we can then focus on the test engine. So we need two engines. Uh, these are the engines that we have to test. The J20 Jumbo Juno. Sorry. Uh, yeah, and oh yeah, so those are the engines that I want to use to get me flying. And then just build a very similar engine on the roof here that I'm going to use for the action testing. Very similar, just like that. Okay. And the staging of course we need those to fire first. And we need some steering, so we need a wheel at the back. Looks good. And then I want an else white. What the hell? Come on. There we go. An else white um, wheelbase as possible. That makes the plane uh, less likely to topple over when we take off and landing. So that should make it a bit more stable. That looks like a fairly straightforward spacecraft to me. Let's try to launch it and uh, see how it goes. We. Oh, crap. <laughs> so, well. Uh, Send off mass. Let's take those wheels and forward. Oh. Need two like that, just so that we are sure that they are actually behind or in front of the send off mass. There we go. That should do it. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> oh, do we have to build it again? Really? Okay, here we are again. Lucky that the craft was all saved, so. Um, okay, so the runway is quite uh, bumpy, which was what gave us problems. So what I'm considering is to go off the runway. Get a fair bit of distance. And we get to break, 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 break. Because the runway is on a small hill, we can use the um, the hill as a small takeoff ramp to get this off the off the ground. And the grass is apparently a lot smoother than the actual runway, so... Oh! Maybe not that fast. So that didn't work. Maybe if we lighten the spacecraft a bit. And let's look at the center of lift. Center of lift is... quite far back. So we could try to move the center of mass back a bit by moving the engine down here instead. And could we also move these engines way back. I mean, we can actually move the whole thing forward a little bit. Okay, that should be better, hopefully. Good, so here we are again, slowly approaching the runway. I emptied the main fuel tank to make the craft lighter and remove some of the modules around and we are flying not the best of takeoffs but flying nevertheless so let's see do we apart from being too slow we actually check all the boxes now we just need to get up to the correct speed on, there we go, and and that's that contract completed. Now, most of these things are 60 kilometers up or higher, most of these uh, observational surveys. So, so let's see what this thing will do for altitude. Beginning to lose speed right now. That's a bit early. Entering. Okay, so this thing will actually do a decent amount of uh, of height. Um, so what's the next one? Let's go for let's go for this one. 
activate navigation. target. There we go. You're leaving area GD. Oh, leaving. Oh, that was that area. So we should be inside this one, maybe. You're entering... Yes. So we're going to do a crew report. Overwrite the last one, and that means that we completed that contract as well. So let's uh, go for this one. Oh, can the thing actually go? Yes. So we really reached the, the limit of what this uh, this aircraft can do. Because it will not go any higher at the moment. But I'm just going to fly around and complete all of these contracts. Um, and you guys can join me once we are ready to go back to the space center and uh, land again. Okay, here we are. We are coming in for uh, for landing. I'm not going to land on the actual airstrip because uh, it's way too bumpy. So I'm going to land to the on the grass next to it. Oi! This thing does. The controls of this thing is very very delicate. before we hit the water. We could. That's a success successful landing. Let's recover that. Um, and let's have a look. We got some data for the crew reports. We got a lot of stuff left. So, what I didn't notice before, as you can see I didn't complete all of them, was that some of them said fly above and some of them said fly below. So, since we can only fly through, I think, around 10 kilometers high, uh, height of 10 kilometers, we cannot complete this just yet. But we do have plenty of time, mm -hmm. and since we mm -hmm. upgraded the center, we still have room for plenty more contracts. So, fairing tourists suborbital testing the parachute we can test the landing gear that should be easy I think we should take this orbit curb um, we sh should be able to do that now So let's try to build something that can get into orbit. We are of course going to need the lightest of capsules. And underneath that, oh, a very simple rocket that can get me... Uh, we have a gimbaled and a non-gimbaled version. Let's Or what? 
I can never remember the differences between these two, these two engines. Let's take this one. So that's our very, very simple rocket. Um, Solid rocket booster. You know what, I think I'm going to build... I think we're going to build something like a... Because I want a main stage that we can use for a bit longer. Let's build this with a four, five. And an engine. And... Tail fins. Might be a bit odd, but... Nice. Then we need radial decouplers. And... Question is, do we have struts? We do not have struts. So, hopefully, this will be able to get us into orbit. Um, let's go ahead and launch and see how it goes. That stage is now burned out. So we're ditching it and getting ready with the last stage. But before we do that, I want time warp to Apple Apps. Like that. And then I really hope that this engine. I have it. Oh, hold on. 
stage here somewhere. Hope that this engine is enough to get me into orbit. There we go. That's our first orbit. Is that a contract completed? Orbit curve. Okay. Just for good measures, let's just do a complete orbit. And if we're lucky, what I'm thinking is I want to try and get in close to some of these nodes to see if I can... Uh, And complete some of the contracts on my way down. That would be awesome. So we're pointing retrograde. Slowing ourselves down again. And we have to remember that the planet is turning underneath. So... Try something like that. Okay. So now we should get ready for re entering. See, this is where I really wanted that uh, decoupler. But we didn't bring one, so we just have to go into the atmosphere and hope that the, that the explosion from the fuel tanks that's gonna take the capsule with it. Okay, so I uh, slow down a bit too much, we're not gonna get those contract uh, right now. Okay, here we go. That engine should be overheating. You know what? It's actually holding up pretty well. For some reason this thing really don't want to fall the right way, but hopefully, hopefully the parachute will be able to slow us down and just deploy that. So with all this weight at the engine and the two fuel tanks, this small parachute is probably not going to be able to slow us down sufficiently, meaning that the engine might be destroyed when we land. Eight point three meters per second, that's actually not too bad. But it's still way, way fast for an engine. <laughs> but the rest of the spacecraft survived, so let's recover. And we got a lot of lovely, lovely science. One experience gained. Nice. So now we can maybe research. What do we need? Advanced rockets. I think I want basic science to get a thun radiation, radiator panels, and communitrons. Yeah. I think we should research this for now to give us more science. But anyway. 
I think this is gonna be it for uh, for this time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Kerbal Space Program, consider giving the video a like down below. Maybe subscribe to the channel. This is Down to Earth Astronomy. Uh, until next time, have a good one.